In this week's pick, 11-year-old Jack joins the ranks of Dicey from Homecoming and Bonnie and Sylvia from the Wolves of Willoughby Chase. In other words, this is a story about one kid's solitary journey through a scary and confusing adult world. We'll find out if Jack makes it to his destination next. A word of warning up front. I had a pretty dramatic reaction to this week's pick. So dramatic that I almost couldn't finish reading it. Here's the setup. 11-year-old Jack's mom has always been unpredictable, but she's never done something quite this irresponsible. In other words, she's never left him alone in Acadia National Park before. She's never left him wondering if she's alive and how he's supposed to get back home to Boston and what's going to happen to his family. Quite honestly, even though I knew Jack would end up okay, and even though I knew this was just another riff on a kid's odyssey story, I found this book unbelievably disturbing. Even though Jack is resourceful, he struggles to get enough to eat and to stay warm. Worst of all, he's alone. In Homecoming, Dicey had her brothers and sister. In The Wolves of Willoughby Chase, Bonnie and Sylvia had each other and Simon. Jack has nothing but a toy elephant. So this is just my way of saying that I really can't make a fair assessment of this week's pick. It's definitely a well-written story about finding a new definition of family, but it's also not for the faint of heart.